This one's called Blue Griffin and it basically is a WYSIWYG editor. WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get and this is mainly what they use to make web pages, you know, web design or whatever. Um, so this one uses uh, the Mozilla Firefox rendering engine. Now usually when I hear, you know, Mozilla Firefox, I think it was slow or something like that. This thing is actually fast, so it doesn't use all the parts of it, just the, the rendering engine. Um, another thing is I like the look of it. Uh, if you ever use Composer, I don't like the look of that, but this one looks really nice. And like I said before, it's, it's cross-platform, so it'll work on your... Uh, Linux machine, your your Mac or uh, your Windows. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna try one of these out. Uh, so you have a new page. You're gonna paste some text that I already copy. So you can paste text, not a big deal. Uh, you can change fonts, right? Uh, let's say we insert an image uh, somewhere here. Let's see here, insert an image. Um. My logo here. Right, image is not a big deal. Now, this one tries to comply with uh, was it uh, HTML5 standards, so it does uh, use the default, uh, you know, OGV, uh, OGG files. So let me show you that right now too. Okay. So first one we'll do um, music, uh, which is OGG files. Uh, what is that at? Here we go. I have one here, and then they give you these options here, right? If you want to show the auto controls, uh, if you want to play automatically or you want to loop it forever, then you can do that. I'm just gonna put show controls, and that's it. Uh, so that's all you have there. Uh, let's do uh, videos also, so you can see the difference. So here up here you have videos, okay, and let's find one uh, so here's my OGV files I'm gonna put that one in here and there you go now this one they tell you you can uh, change the width and the height I'm gonna make it smaller because you know the natively is, is my native resolution so I'll put it 800 uh, by 600 and I'm gonna put uh, show controls and I just hit enter and that's it Okay. Now, if you want to preview it, there's this thing right here, uh, and then you hit that, and it'll preview it. Oh, let's give this a name. Okay. Uh, you gotta save it first, so I'm gonna save it to my desktop here, and then we're gonna open it with our default browser. And there you go. We're gonna have it here. So this is our page that we created. All right. Uh, so we have our pictures, we have our uh, music here. Let's play this one. All right, it works fine. Let's pause that again. And here's the video. Now, if you want to play the video, uh, really smooth, you know, no big deal here. All right, let's pause that. All right, it's done. So yeah, there you go. It complies to uh, HTML5 standards, um, and some other things. If you want to do links, you know, it's not that hard here. Let's say we do a link here. Click me, <laughs> and then we're gonna do uh, links. Insert link here. Let's say we do that to um, the um, dig.com or something, right? Okay, and then let's preview it again. Here we go. We have the click me here. Okay, and now you click on it. Uh, it just takes you to Dig or whatever website you go to. All right. Uh, there's other things like let me see here. Some other things that I don't really use, but uh, you can use it. Uh, for example, they have an SVG editor. SVGs are was it vector graphics and all that. Uh, not a big deal, right? If you want to do that, uh, what is it? CSS styles. CSS is I never actually use it, but I get the concept of it. Uh, you know, if you want to do like a formatting style or whatever, you can do that here. It's actually pretty uh, easy to do this one. You know, just select it and uh, type in whatever numbers or whatever you need here. Not a big deal. Um, I do have HTML markup. 
you don't know what this is, uh, let me give you an example. Okay. Uh, usually, like you know, you go into web pages or videos. They give you like an embedded uh, code or whatever. That's what you use here. So here's the embedded code. You can copy that, and uh, we'll go back to here. And we're gonna put in a. Um, let's put that somewhere here. Yeah, right here. Put it right here. Um, so let's do the HTML markup or something here. Paste that sucker in here, and it's gonna have that YouTube video. All right, so we're gonna do a preview again. Open that sucker, and you see that it embeds it right here. So that's the HTML markup. If you don't know what the hell that is, right? Uh, so that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Other things you can figure it out yourself if you ever use a, a WYSIWYG editor before. You know, if you want to use the source, you want to write it yourself or whatever. There's this um, source icon here. If it works, it usually works, but uh, this one is still, you know, they're still developing for it. Uh, it's not actually complete yet uh, at the moment I'm talking about. Uh, they do have add-ons, but the thing is, the add-ons are not free. Uh, I guess they're going like the Ubuntu model, where they gave you the OS free, but uh, like Ubuntu 1 is not free, you know, uh, if you want to use that service. So the, the add-ons or the extensions to this are not free, okay, but the program itself is free. Uh, so I guess that's their model of making money. Uh, not not a bad idea though, right? Um, other things, not a big deal. You can figure it out yourself. But that is Blue Griffin. Uh, check it out if you want to make your own web pages. Um, you know, not a big deal. Completely free. Okay, that's it for this one.